Okay, we're back. Um, realized my that first video here cut off a little bit, um, but um, what we're gonna be doing now is I'm gonna be showing you how to make a pit kid board um, using your book. Um, so I'm just gonna show you. Um, so the, you're gonna you're gonna need to keep your book open because you're gonna need to be going back and forth to be looking at facts. But I'm gonna open up pit kid here. Um, so this is the board that I already made. Now um, you can see that. Uh, up on the top, I have a title. My title is College and Work Life of George Washington Carver. Now, I had decided to not just do his, I didn't want to do his whole life because he did so many great things. I decided I just wanted to do College and Work Life of George Washington Carver. And that's actually what you get to decide you want to do. Do you want to do your person's entire whole life? Or do you just want to do um, just like a part of it? And that's what I decided. I wanted to do just a part of it. So just his college and work life. Because to me, I felt like that, even though I keep, there are some big things that were happening from, those are the most important things. Those are things that he's really well known for. Um, so in the top left corner, I said 1890. Went, oh, and I reread it, but look at that. I even missed that. So I went to went to. Now you're going to notice though, I, I did not do... Um, complete sentences for everything, but I want to make sure it still does sound right though. So, went to 1890, went to Simpson College in Iowa to study art. And look at another typo right there. Mm. So really important, go back and reread too, so I'm, I'm hopefully I'm showing you some good modeling here. 1890, went to Simpson College in Iowa to study art, but wanted to do more work in science. And then I have an arrow pointing to the next box. 1894, graduated from Iowa State and became first African-American teacher. My next line went over. 1896, got a job at Tuskegee Institute, where he did his most famous work. Then my big arrow going down to the bottom left corner. Bottom, um, yep, you can see on the bottom of it. Late 1890s to 1930s. Now, I don't have an exact date on this because he did a lot of work over these years. Um, but this is when he did this. Late 1890s to 1930s, discovered over 300 uses for peanuts. Um, and that was the part I wanted to say in the book, too, but I know it's running short on time. Um, it said in the book that he actually discovered peanut butter. George Washington Carver did not discover peanut butter. Peanut butter was discovered even like the ancient... There's been evidence that the ancient Aztecs... Um, remember, that's one of our ancient civilizations we learned about before. You used peanut butter... It's been peanut butter is used for like in different kinds of like nut butters like that, um, you know you can use lots of different kinds of nuts, but um, or legumes to make the kind of butter spread like sun butter, almond butter, cashew butter. I mean, but um, he did invent a lot of things from peanuts. A lot of people say he invented peanut butter. He, he didn't. He probably made some new kinds of peanut butter, invented some different ways to maybe possibly make it, but he didn't invent it. But doesn't matter. He, he still created a lot of really cool things with it. In 1939, he was given the Theodore Roosevelt Medal for Distinguished Service in Agriculture. Um, Max Air over. George died on July 5th, 1943, and people mourned him from all around the world. Now, I have those arrows like that. Um, another thing I could do instead of doing these arrows, um, I could have done more of, I'll show you, here we go. I could have done something more like this, where I had like lines that kind of go like this, or like a timeline. I could have done something like that. Um, gonna hit my my check in the top right corner. And while you're making your pick board, if you have any questions, like oh, you know, I I just don't get like how this works at all. I need some help. You know, please, please, please let me know. When you are done making your pick board though, in the top right corner, I'm gonna hit done. And then I'm going to save to library. Then I'm gonna go back into Schoology. Sorry everybody, log me out for some reason. Open up Mr. Johnson's class. Gonna to go to here, biography unit. I have a ton. I have so many lessons in here. Biography sum timeline flow map because it's lesson fifteen. You are going to be saving this in timeline flow maps. So after you're done and pick kids, you come back to Schoology. You're going to hit timeline flow maps, and I'm going to put it right in here. So in the top right corner, I'm going to hit the blue plus. Choose from library. 
and then I can find it. All photos. There it is. Choose my picture. Green check mark. Green check mark. I can add a caption if I want to. Um, it'd be nice that like, you can add your name on there. Um, you know, and that's something I should have shown you. I, I didn't add that part. Make sure to add your name on it so I know who did what. But I'm going to just add my name underneath it so I can see that. Um, but I'm going to go back quick just to show you, just as a reminder. Make sure to add your name to it. Uh, my collage just appeared, but on the bottom it says my collages. So I can get my uh, collage here. So I'm going to just add by Mr. Johnson there. So it's all done, but, um, but yeah, so then just to show you just quick how to make a quick, um, like a new collage. So when you do open up book or pick kids, Um, you can choose either grid or freestyle. I always like freestyle though. Um, and then you're just going to basically choose on the bottom. Um, you're, the one thing you're going to be choosing is the text on the bottom. It's uppercase A, lowercase A text. And then you can just start typing. Um, when you're trying to choose the parts for your pick kid board, look for dates in your book especially. That's going to help you a lot. Because those are gonna probably, that, that will kind of help you as you're making your flow map and your, your timeline chart. Um, and try to pick just those really big key events, those really big main ideas. If you have any questions at all as you're making this, please let me know. But I am very excited to see your um, pick boards. And then after you're done with your pick boards, um, I want you to go through and look for other people's, look through other people's pick boards. And um, we're going to be making some, we're going to make be making comments on them as well which is going to be really fun. So after you've done submitting yours, I want you to make one comment on somebody else's pick board. I'm like one good positive comment. Like say, oh, wow, you know, that was really interesting because, or, you know, I enjoyed your, your pick board because you're going to be seeing me doing that, making comments on people's, but that's what all of you also are going to be doing. Um, you're going to see that in your checklist, but you have to make at least one comment on some on somebody else's pick board about why you thought it was interesting or um, just a cool pick board. But um, I can't wait to, to see all of yours, everybody. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.